In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create an obituary design in Photoshop. We will look at how to design the order of service, the obituary and how to create college using Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up again. Just so you know, this video is the continuation of the first video that I did. I will leave a link in the description in case you want to watch that video first or perhaps you might want to watch it right here in the YouTube card over there before you dive into this particular video. So in the last video, this was where I got to, I'm going to continue right from here. But then just so you get to know the exact thing that we are doing right over here, let's take a recap of the first video and how we ended up over here. I'm just going to give you a very brief of what you can use to do the inside that is going to contain probably the program outline, the officiating ministers, the obituary itself, and some couple of pictures. Let me know if you want me to do a full detailed video like the one I've done on the cover here for you. But since this is the cover, on top of this one, we can hide this one so that we don't get confused. So on top of this one, we're going to make the inside. But you have to make sure that since this is a booklet, when it is folded, this one will be at the very front and this will be the cover. So when you are doing for the inside you have to make sure that right after it is open the next page will be on the left so if it is an officiating ministers or any other thing it has to be on the left that is what you have to note so i'll go for this flower again and then i, I can post it over here and then i just leave it right there so it will be around here and i'm going to decrease the opacity a little bit and then I'll go again for my roses. This is some roses that I got online. So it will be also here and it will be underneath of this one. And I'm going to decrease the opacity a little bit. So that one can shift a little bit here. So we're going to have two flowers over there. Now, because I'm using this particular color, let me turn these ones off. Because I'm using this particular color right over here, I can use it to make something nice here so i'm going to select the rectangle and i'll draw a nice rectangle to cover that so it will be on top of all of these ones and i can bring it over here so when you want to write something like order of service so it's going to be lovely home and order of service so order of service is going to be here and you have to make sure that everything matches so probably the order of service is going to be here and then the officiating ministers or let's say the obituary obituary is going to be here so you can add a couple of tests here and then another couple of tests here all right so that was where we ended up in the first video we're going to take are we going to continue right from here so you'd realize that we have our front image already which we did in the first video and then we're going to do the second that is the inside of the booklet now note that this is a booklet so when you fold it unless otherwise you're going to make this as the main cover only when you fold it you're going to have to adjust the pages so you just have to be very conscious of whatever that you want to do right over here so if we are first going to create the order of service which is going to be very simple and we will look at how to create the obituary with a long test and how you can adjust the test and then we will look at how to create the college in this video so to create the order of service you're just going to pick your test tool you can just left click and start creating a test but then to be on the safer side i recommend that you create a test boss so you left click and hold the test while not leaving it and then you can create a test boss like this the reason why i create a test boss is it gives you that control to control your test so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to change the font to any font that you're going to use I'm going to use the popular font times new roman i'm going to change this one to 
italic and i'll change the alignment to left align so that it will start right from here the center align was right in the middle but then uh, we're going to explore some couple of more alignments that you can use in the toggle character so let me go into a test that i have over here i'm going to copy that particular test and i'm going to paste it in here so you'd realize that this particular test ends at the very end of the test boss that we created now this looks just fine but then you can make it a little bit bigger by increasing the font size let's try 17 over here and then you realize that some of them has moved to the next line of which we can bring that one back a little bit by trying to adjust it over here but then if it doesn't work out that fine for you you can just maintain it as like this one because you don't really want to make the test way bigger to the extent that some of them will fall onto the next line so you have to maintain it you can as well use ctrl plus t to transform this one in and out which is going to make it very simple now if you press ctrl plus h you can get rid of all these guidelines that you've set so that you can see exactly how your work looks like and if it is fine for you yes you can just move on to the next one so the next step is creating the obituary which is going to be very simple as well but then like i explained earlier if you are doing this in a booklet form you have to make sure that arrangement is quite on point if this is just a two folded booklet that is we're going to have the cover or the front page like this and then when we turn it over we should have our inside which is going to comprise of the order of service and then obituary that is just fine but then when it happens that it has a couple of other pages as well you have to check the arrangement so what are we going to do next from here is we're going to press ctrl j to duplicate this test and then we're going to drag we are doing this on the assumption that we're just going to have two pages okay so once you have your test over here let's go into microsoft word and generate a couple of tests just any test uh let's do this and press enter and then we have just a test a random test over here because this is based on assumptions okay so i'm going to select from here to this side or let me try and select some more and i'm going to copy that come into photoshop this is supposed to be the obituary that has been submitted by the client or you have typed yourself so you're going to select the test select all of them and then you realize that the test boss is still showing so you press ctrl a to select all of that and you press ctrl v to paste it now you'd realize when you select it all here you realize that you have it up to this point and that is fine but then if you want to quickly adjust it you can easily use the arrow keys over here to adjust it press ctrl t and then you can transform this one as well to make this look even more nicer now you can use the alignment over here to make it centerized and all those stuff but then if you go to the toggle character and you go to paragraphing this justify over here makes it even look better so you can use the justify last centered and this one even makes it look even more nice the only problem with using this particular test boss and then the alignment that i just showed you is the fact that sometimes you have to deal with this word cut over here so you have to go over and then fix all of them and then you should be able to move on to the next section of so this is going to be your obituary let's press ctrl plus h to turn off the guidelines and then you realize from here that you have a very nice paced out test and then obituary and order of service the next thing that i would want to talk about is the fact that when you have different or several pages when it happens that way you have to be creating a separate group for each of the tests that you'll be working on so let's assume that over here we don't need to put the obituary over there instead we have to put the family gallery now i'm going to use this to explain how to create a very simple collage i don't know if i got the name correct but whether it's pronounced college or collage whatever you want to pronounce it so i'm going to use the pictures of these celebrities please note that i'm just using this as a reference i don't mean any harm or to bring back any memories 
I just want to use the pictures to demonstrate something. This is purely for educational purpose. So let me quickly go and turn this particular obituary off. I have the obituary over here as well. Let me duplicate this one and change this to, uh, let's say, gallery. Okay. Let me change this to gallery. And then I'm going to turn the obituary here off. So we're going to create a gallery. So it is on the assumption that the order of service is in alignment with the gallery. And then at the back of this order of service and gallery, it would, so we are supposed to have a different thing over there. So let's try to create a very simple college over here. Now, sometimes the best thing that you can do, depending on the images that you have, you might want to grab some inspiration from Google. You run a very simple Google search and then you can get some nice college designs. I don't know if it is actually college or color. Please let me know how it is pronounced, okay? So you might want to run a very quick search in Google to find, let's say, an inspiration. But it all depends on the number of pictures that you have at your disposal or the number of pictures that you have to use. So I'm going to do this by selecting my rectangle tool. I'm going to create a very nice rectangle. Since almost all the pictures that I'm having are portraits, let me try to use this and create this in a portrait kind of form. So I'm going to maintain the color or let me just double click on the layer thumbnail and choose a color over here. I'm using this color. So I'll click OK and then I'll press Ctrl J to make a duplicate. I'm going to press Ctrl T to transform that one. And I'm going to change that particular color to white. So we should have something like this. Now let me just select these two layers by pressing Ctrl and selecting the other one and just close it a little bit like this i just want to demonstrate something so i'll go and pick my first layer that is the rectangle that is white color and then i'll go into my resources over here let me try and use this picture of kobe Bryant, and i'm going to drag and drop it inside of photoshop so once i place it over here i right click and then i'm going to create a clipping mask then automatically it has to fill into the rectangle that we created very simple right so you can just place it over here now sometimes when the picture is delivered to you you have to make a couple of work on it so you can rasterize this press ctrl shift and then l to auto level it you can press ctrl l to add a couple of levels to it to make sure that your picture looks quite good and then you can adjust the levels you can as well press ctrl plus m to add the curves to it just play around with the curves and the levels to make sure that your picture looks good because one of the ways that your design looks good is the pictures that you use so once we're done with this one we can hold shift and then select these three press ctrl g and then i'm going to group this one as well so let's go ahead and double click on this one to rename it let's call these images okay just so you know be confused with the main group that we are working on and this particular images that we are working on to even be more specific and sure you can just right click on this one and then you give it a color like red so that you know that this is separate from the main group that you are working on now this is where the magic happens you press ctrl j and then you make a duplicate of the group that just created and then you can drag it over here so like i said depending on the kind of inspiration that you got from the college or the number of pictures that you have you might decide on how you want to just arrange these pictures so let me just try to play around with this so i'll make it another duplicate like this and then i'll place it over here but then it can't be on top of this one so let me drag it beneath of this and then you see how or what i'm having right over here some nice designs or some nice college that i'm making i'm just experimenting with this one so you can just place this one over here as well and then you can press ctrl j again to make another duplicate let's place this one right over here and let's make the last duplicate and place it over here so let's see or let's assume that we are just having this particular five images that we are supposed to insert or use it for the college which of course sometimes the images are 
just way many okay so from here you can easily replace your images once you right click on this one for instance you can just turn it off to make sure that you're on the right layer and then you can delete that go into your resources and then you can bring let's say this particular image inside right over there so like what we did to the others you right click and then you can create a clipping mask over here so that it affects only the rectangle that you have so you take your time to position it right over here this is a picture of ebony rings let me rasterize this and then you can add all the effects that you want to add to this one as well so you can do the same thing for the other one as well you turn it off to make sure that you're on the right layer delete it go back into your resources and then you should have another image let me bring that of gigi and you can right click and create a clipping mask so you can go ahead and do this for the rest of the images and then you you just have to be transforming them and making it sure that you have your images at the right place you don't always have to use rectangles as well you can just use any circles or any of the shapes that you feel or you deem fit so when you turn off the guidelines this is what we are having and this should be of a nice one to use for a booklet as well okay so let me just show you another way you can do this simply so i'm going to copy all of this one so the rectangle and then the backgrounds make a duplicate and then i'm going to send it on top of my my group so it is going to be a different one and this also is on the assumption that you have a booklet and then you want to bring the college in the middle of the booklet so it is going to take the both sides of the booklet but then it is going to be filled with images let's see how that one also works so to do that i got this particular frame which is nice i'll leave a link to download it in the description so i use the transformation controls here to transform it and i'll make sure that it is centered and you can push it up a little bit now let's try to turn off the rectangle here and see how it looks i think when you have the rectangle off it looks nice over there and then i'm going to stretch this one out like this and double click over here all right so inside of my resources i have this particular vector smart object i'm going to bring it inside of photoshop and then i'm going to leave it here if you want to use this particular vector smart object that is on the assumption that you want to make the main image the, the focus and then the rest of the images around this particular vector smart object so let me quickly go into the front cover and borrow the picture that we use for the front cover i'm going to send it on top right on top of it and i would have to send this one underneath of the vector smart object so i'm going to drag it under here and i'll try and position it very nicely you press ctrl t and then you transform it you make sure that at least the person appears in full like this and then you can press or hit enter any way you want to do it now with the help of the eraser tool we're just going to erase this part without any caution of course because we don't need the, those parts so you're just going to erase these parts like that but then you have to be a little bit cautious because you can erase the image like this we don't want that so once you're done with this you can then bring in your images which i'm going to use the four images that i downloaded like i said i don't i don't intend to bring any sorrows but then I, i'm just using this for educational purpose so let's go in sometimes you might have to crop the images so you can just drag and drop it inside of photoshop as a new or a separate document and then you can crop it out using the c for crop and then you can crop it out something like this before you double click on this click ok and then you send it over to your document so you should have something like this now you press ctrl t to transform this one and then you can have it over here you take your time to position it and then you send it on top of the vector smart object as well the next one you're going to bring in the second image which is going to be say this particular image let me just drag and drop it in here you crop it or you make sure it is okay quite okay and then you can double click over here and send it into your documents 
now to make sure that you have all these on the same line you have to, you can use the um, grid lines or the rulers over here so let me drag a ruler and drop it over here like this I'm going to select my layer and I'm going to make sure that it is on the same line with the first image as well from there you can press ctrl t transform and then you hold alt if you are using the latest version of photoshop you don't need this and then you can drag it over here and then you make sure that they are all on the same line as simple as that right you can zoom in to make sure it is perfect but we're not looking at perfection over here so let's go and do the same thing for the rest of the two images now if you have multiple images like this after making sure they are online or on the same line like this you can select all of them by holding shift and then you press ctrl t to retransform them so if you have multiple images what you can do is let me try and duplicate this and then you're going to see how it is going to turn out so this definitely has to come beneath of the vector so like this and then you're going to see how it is going to turn out when we duplicate it so let me just group this and let me make another duplicate and i'm going to drag it here and that is on the assumption that you have different images for all of these ones right and then you make another duplicate like this and then you can drag it over here so let me just group this once as well and send it down here so from here you can select all of these images that have grouped and then you can also make another duplicate and shift it over here that is when you have like a lot of images sometimes you have a lot of images to work with and then you can select all of these ones let me zoom out and press ctrl t and then you can transform it nicely and position that right over here so you can see from here that you have all your images to be on point you can just make this even look more better if you decide not to put any images around these areas let's see how that works so i select this particular one and then i'm going to turn it off i select this one as well and let's see if that is the one yes turn it off select this particular one and then i'm going to turn it off and then i'll select this one as well and i'm going to turn it off so let me see if that was the one and then you can see the nice design it has created for us so it all depends on the number of images that you are working on the number of booklets that you are working on sometimes it can get very confusing especially when it is your first time but then i believe this video gave you an insight on how you can create a very simple order of service and then you can create the obituary and create some nice college and some nice gallery for your loved ones and your clients funeral or obituary thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i hope this video was helpful let me know in the comment section if it was and thank you so much again for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye